This is an important message that I'm sending out to everybody in the room. I don't care if you're a platinum member sitting in the room, an info mastermind member in the room, a VIP member in the room, which is the, the best of our best, the peak performers members that are part of the best of our best, or you're just a newbie that's just in this room for the very first time and you don't even know what the hell you're doing here, okay? This is an important message to all of you. Every one of us is lazy in this area. Every one of us, and, and I've been teaching this for now years, but people take it for granted. They do not do the proper research, especially if you're looking to enter into a new market. So, I cannot emphasize this enough, is do the research before you get started. And here's a couple tools for you in order to help you. Number one is SRDS. That's a, you can go to srds.com or if you want you can go to a, most large libraries have the SRDS manual. It doesn't matter if it's six months old or a year old, it doesn't change that much. But in there it's a compilation of all the, the common, commonly available lists. So that's the list of people. So you can type in any category and it will tell you what lists are available to buy. It also tells you, interestingly enough, who else is marketing to that area, to that group. Magazines. If in your industry, if your industry has a magazine, a trade magazine, call them up and ask them for their media kit. Their media kit tells you a lot about who their subscribers are and it can give you a lot of great information. Back issues of the niche magazines. Why do you want back issues of the niche magazines? You want it because you want to see who else is advertising in that magazine. So what you'll learn a lot about that. You'll learn number one, which is in most cases, you'll learn that very, very, very few people who advertise in magazines, niche magazines, or actually all magazines, but niche magazines, understand what we know about direct response marketing. Most of their ads, the I think the uh, the the industry term for this is, it's called, most of their ads suck. <laughs> and they do, they're, they're brand building ads. You do not want to do a brand building ad, you want to do a direct response ad. So that's number one. The other thing is, if you see direct response ads in there, and if you see them being run in repeated issues, that's a really good thing to see. Because it means that unless they're total idiots, they're not going to keep dumping their money and throwing it away. They're going to keep running that ad because it's working, which lets you know that direct response advertising will work in that magazine. So you want to get back issues of magazines. 